Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit interesting. I had an email from Jakob. He is from the Czech Republic, and he recently visited the locations from Kingdom Come Deliverance. And he amazingly has sent me comparison shots, and I really want to show you these because I find them absolutely fascinating. Now, I have told you that Kingdom Come Deliverance is possibly one of the most immersive and realistic games I've ever played. And after you see these pictures, I think you'll be completely agreeing with me. The attention to detail here is incredible. The brilliant Jakob ended up visiting most of the locations from the main game, including Ratai, Sasau, and Taunberg. Rumor has it that Skalit's still burning to this day. <laughs> well, that's terribly morbid. I bet someone's watching from real life Skalit's right now going, what? <laughs> So we're going to start in Ratai, and yeah, you guys can see right now, this is incredibly accurate. Now, obviously, Kingdom Come Deliverance does take place in 1403, so a lot has changed since then. But if you look at this, th there's not exactly a lot different here. Now, you may be saying, but Roxy, this is a video game! While that may be the case, Kingdom Come Deliverance was based on historical documents, including maps and stuff like that, to make it as accurate as possible for the time that it was set in. This is how Ratai would have looked in 1403. You've got to remember that Ratai is this up-and-coming, bustling town, and it's kind of interesting they've only added a road and a couple of signs. I'm going to go back and forth between these shots because I want to show you just how accurate this is, and I think it's a testament to how accurate Kingdom Come Deliverance is as a whole. I think this shot is quite sad because, obviously, this is the main gate to Ratai, and the fact that it's now completely overgrown is just quite sad. I'm guessing this isn't really used anymore. Hundreds of thousands of people walked through this gate and now it's just left, covered in moss and grass, and it's just kind of upsetting. We also have a shot from the other side. I love history and the before and after of places. I love seeing that development. And as I said, it's just kind of sad to see it like this now. We need those big iron balls. That's what's missing here. I think the most sad one is this one, which is obviously completely overgrown now. I'm amazed that it's still there, to be completely honest. I'm guessing they've obviously done work on this building over the years. Obviously, the top is now mostly wood compared to what it was originally. Oh my god, I think I spotted a wild Jakob. There he is. Ha! Ah, this is kind of interesting. This is where Sir Hanush and Radzig are in the main quest of the game. And yeah, it's all blocked off now. I don't know if you're allowed to enter here or if this is blocked off to the public. Something else is the fact that there's no bridge anymore. That's completely gone. Now, what I think is possibly the most fascinating picture here is Ratai itself. This is where you're going to be spending a majority of your game. And this is the main road. And yeah, it's exactly the same. There's not really much of a difference, which I find absolutely crazy. Some of the houses even look like they did in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Obviously, a lot of these houses nowadays don't have fat roofs. That's something that's not as common anymore. But the one thing I will point out is that triangle of grass in Kingdom Come Deliverance kind of represents what has become that little grassy area in the middle where the cars are parked. I find that really fascinating. Although I will say I do like that they've now actually paved it. <laughs> getting bloody dirty walking up and down retire. It was horrible. Now this is a shot showing further up and you can even see the curvature of the road as it goes round and that's still there. If I had one question for the people of retire, what have you been doing for the last 600 years? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> There's no difference here! Now, looking at the main church in Ratai, obviously there have been some renovations over the years. I'm guessing that they've probably actually knocked it down and rebuilt it. But the main design is still there, and I really, really like that. Now, heading up into the upper castle, this looks a lot better, actually, now. I would say that most of these pictures I actually preferred from 1403, but this looks really, really nice. I love what they've done here. As opposed to the entrance of Ratai, this actually looks like it's used. See, you even have a car park, it's so fancy. I love that they've even still got the viewing areas at the top left of the right hand picture. I love that, so you can actually still look out over this giant courtyard. And here is a shot from the outside showing the bridge leading into the upper castle. And apart from the fact that there is no gate anymore, it looks almost identical. You can even see on the left hand side where you've got that kind of viaduct, that's still there. 
Like, that is still there, and that is so awesome. Okay, so the next place we're going to look at is Sasau. Now, I'm going to say right now, I prefer Kingdom Come Deliverance here. That looks incredible, and the other one just looks okay. But looking at it from the inside shows a different story. This is literally identical. There's no difference here whatsoever. They even still have the bloody scaffolding up. This is possibly the most impressive picture we have here because it's absolutely incredible. You guys can see how much attention Warhorse put in here. Look at all of the singular bricks and all of the indents and all the little blocks that are there. Everything looks identical. Identical, and I love it. I also love how they're still doing work on it. I'd contract someone who's better at their job if I was them. The scaffolding is still in the same place here. Like, what? So unfortunately, this building is no more. It is just a small outline on the ground where it used to be. You still have the foundations, but the main building is gone, which is quite sad. Although looking at it, it's absolutely bloody tiny compared to what you imagine it actually is. So I wanted to show you a couple of pictures from the inside of here. Now obviously they have painted over quite a lot of the stuff. There's obviously a lot of white paint now. Um, but you guys can see that the shape and everything's still the same. Obviously it's not as intricate as it used to be. I love how it looked in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like that. And this is looking at the outside of Sasau. This is the main high street. And yeah, this is possibly the one that has changed the most. You can kind of make out where places would be, but this is a lot different. It's almost like people actually live in this place. <laughs> wow! And if you're wondering, yes, this still exists. It is still there. This looks incredibly close. I think they've obviously changed the building to the side, but apart from that, it's pretty accurate. Now, I'm gonna say it, I prefer Kingdom Come Deliverance here. I love how big and majestic that building is compared to what it looks like now. So moving on to Rovna, we have the only landmark of Rovna that anyone actually knows. This is the main church and it looks identical. <laughs> There's not really much of a difference here. They've added on a small little building to the front. Now, of course, in the main game, this is kind of a horrific place to visit. I'm guessing by now they've cleaned up the bodies. <laughs> this video has been demonetized. Now, if you look at the new picture here, you guys can see that there's actually something on the side of the building. It looks like it's been redone. I'm wondering if this is where that wooden structure from the picture in Kingdom Come Deliverance would have been. So that would have been the stairs leading up to the upper floors. I've got to show this one because it's adorable. You've got Mutt here jumping over the wall. Now they have added a gate, so that's something. In the last 600 years, they've decided to add a gate. Now a lot of people's favorite quest from Kingdom Come Deliverance is the one with Father Godwin. And this is what his church looks like now. Yeah, as you can see, not a lot is different. This still looks the same. If we go round to the side of the building, you guys can see that they finally got rid of the scaffolding. I heard it only went down last year. Things move slowly in Bohemia. One thing I will point out is that the door is exactly the same, and I love that. It's still got that really nice archway. So next, we're going to head to Taunberg. This is obviously a location that we go to pretty early in the game. And this is now what is left of the main gate. It's a lot smaller in real life. <laughs> That's one thing I'm noticing. But also a fun thing is you now come out to a garden shed as opposed to the rest of Townburg. Now looking up from where Henry has his room in Townburg, you guys can see that obviously this giant tower is a lot smaller now. I'm guessing it collapsed at some point and it's just not what it used to be. I mentioned it earlier in the video and the fact that everything is just overgrown. Time moves on and we forget and I think that is really sad. It's sometimes sad looking at pictures of things from before and after because you notice that people have moved on. And I think that's what's happened here. Obviously, Townburg isn't as important as it once was. Looking at it from the outside, the whole structure is completely missing. There are still a couple of buildings from this time period in the UK that have been kept looking how they originally did. And I wish that this could have been done with places in Retai and also Townburg. Now, if you're doubting that this game wasn't that realistic, just take a look at this. This is looking out from Ledechko. And you see this hill formation here, and it's exactly the same. Like, nothing has changed. The attention to detail in Kingdom Come Deliverance is absolutely mind-blowing. They've obviously gone to all these locations before making the game, and have taken pictures, and then looked at historical documents to see how they looked originally. 
a majority of this stuff is taken from historical documents. It's not just made up on the spot. And that's why I love Kingdom Come Deliverance so much. For me personally, Kingdom Come Deliverance is a portal back in time. It's an opportunity to learn about the past. And I find that really important because not many games do that. I want to give a massive shout out to Jakob because these are incredible and I'm really, really glad that he sent me these. I really want to visit these locations at some point and I would love to do a video. Right now I'm not able to and this has given us the opportunity to look at these places. Someone mentioned on Twitter actually recently that there is a book, I think it's in Retai, when you go and stay at one of the hotels and there's actually comments about Kingdom Come Deliverance in that book. And I find that incredible that people have visited there because of this game. There are not many games that could do that. I gotta give massive props to Warhorse Studios for this because they have blown me away with the attention to detail here. You don't see this in other games. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye guys.